So for today's video, I'm super excited because I did a full face of makeup using makeup products that are only under $5. How amazing is that? Honestly, there are some great brands out there who are not only drugstore, but are super affordable. Like I'm talking products that are like $2, $1, three, four, five. And honestly, a lot of them are amazing quality. In this video, you're gonna see a bunch that have been my holy grail for years now. And you're also gonna see me test out a couple new products because there were certain steps that I didn't have a product under $5 for, so I kinda had to pick up some new stuff. So you're gonna see a little bit of first impressions as well. I do drugstore tutorials all the time, but I figured it would be amazing to do one that was extremely affordable using products that are all only under $5. And that also includes brows and lashes, which that's big. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in checking out what products I used under $5 to create this glam kind of wearable makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. The first item is this Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. Of course, we have to prime the skin. This is actually a new one in my collection. I'm just gonna put that all over the face. This is actually a new one that I recently picked up at Superstore um, in Canada for my Canadian girls who are wondering. But this is nice because it's a moisturizing feeling, but it's thick, like a thick moisturizer that has a little bit of that silicone touch to it. So it's still gonna smooth out your makeup, but I do feel like it gives me that nice kind of matte base still, which is really good. And I like that it's not too thin and slippery because I do have oily skin, so I do prefer kind of a thicker consistency um, just because I find that it holds up well. So this is the primer that we're using for today. And then we're moving on to foundation. I did have to go out and purchase a foundation because I didn't have any in my collection that was under $5 or $5. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and test out a new foundation. I purchased the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation, which actually one of you guys recommended to me. I got this online. I didn't know what shade to get because I had to choose online. I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to match me, but let's try. So we have the shade medium and then a medium tan. Now medium tan looks really good because it's a nice warm shade and this one's too peachy, I think. So we're just going to go with medium tan and hope that it matches. And if it doesn't match, it's okay. You know, we're going to do this for the purpose of the video. And this is kind of going to be a first impression. It's the first time I'm feeling it. Ooh, I like the feeling. I can tell you guys right now. It's like that nice, okay, this color is really nice too. Sorry, the doorbell just rang so you can hear sugar barking in the background a little bit. So this definitely is like a cream consistency. It's very creamy um, on the thicker side. And I'm actually really liking it so far. It actually has really nice coverage too. I would say it's a nice like medium to full. And it actually blends really nicely. I'm actually really loving this. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand, which I need to pick up another one. I actually love this concealer. It's one of my holy grails. I'm actually really running low on this one. I'm like scraping the packaging, but I'm just going to apply that underneath the eye and I'm actually gonna mix it with the shade 15 just to make it lighter. So next, to make sure that I set and brighten the under eye, I'm going to take my favorite contouring palette. I'm telling you, I've been loving this. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. I'm going to just take this really pretty yellow shade right here and just go ahead and set the under eye, but this is also going to really help to brighten. I love this formula. It's super creamy and it's really pigmented. It blends out beautifully. Like it's, I'm talking Kat Von D shade and light contour palette comparable. Really good. I love this stuff. So also we're going to set the entire face. I'm obsessed with this powder. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I love it so much. My only complaint is that it's super messy. I wish the sifter on it was a lot better, but as soon as you open it, it all like explodes. That's my only complaint, but I do really love this powder. It's really comparable to the Laura Mercier one, and I think it's like $3, which is incredible this sets your skin really or sorry sets your foundation really nicely and um it doesn't change the color of your foundation which is a huge plus for me because i always have an issue with that kind of making my foundation lighter but this doesn't do that and it's also so finely milled it just blends right into the skin it's so nice so next we're of course going to bronze the skin and I'm going to use my holy grail drugstore bronzer. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. You guys know that this is my favorite. It blends really nicely. It looks super natural on the skin. It just looks really good. It gives you a nice warm but not too warm kind of bronze. And again, it looks so natural. Like it doesn't look 
super heavy on the skin it almost just looks like naturally your skin it's a really beautiful bronzer the lighting is like super kind of up and down today so don't mind that but we're gonna jump right back into this contour palette and we're gonna take the contouring shade it's so beautiful and you see how that just blends like beautifully on the skin and it gives me a nice contour um it's really easy to blend out it's also a perfect shade for my skin tone so now we're going to add some color to the cheeks. I'm going to use one of my oldies like this. this. is an OG in my collection. I love this blush. This is the Jordana Powder Blush. These blushes are so bomb. This is the shade Rose Silk. Again, I love this formula. It's not too creamy. It's a little bit of a drier formula, similar to the Tarte blushes. I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to take quite a bit of it because sometimes I don't put enough blush on, I feel. So I'm going to put a little bit extra today. <laughs> So now for highlight, I'm going to take, I believe this is $4.99 exact or $3.99 or something, but this is the new Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette, and this one is in the shade Catwalk Pink. It has like these different shades that I mixed in and I wish I didn't mix in because the shade alone, which one is it? Yeah, this shade alone is the most gorgeous like rosy, goldy, bronzy, bright shade. It's really beautiful. I'm going to take the Illuminating mist by elf these are super affordable and i'm just going to spray it and that way i can get a really wet intense highlight and i'm just going to take this shade right here alone and i'm also going to bring this highlight down my nose and i do dust just a tiny bit because again i have oily skin so i don't really need to do this but i just take a tiny bit and like dust it over the forehead and the chin it just gives you that really nice like glow from within look and you cannot forget the cupid's bow so this part is exciting we're moving on to the brows i know you guys are probably wondering what i'm going to use for the brows it was kind of a challenge for me to find a brow product that was under five dollars but i had two products already in my collection one I've tried and one I haven't tried. This is the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. I've tested this out before, I believe. I tested it out once and I think I did like it. But I also have this Jordana Fabu Brow Pencil in the shade Midnight Brown. And it comes with a nice little brush. So I was thinking maybe I'm going to try using this for today. Okay, so we're just going to start off by outlining the brow like I always do. I like to underline it from the bottom, starting a quarter into the brow, outline the top, and then I will start filling in from the end of the brow. And as I get towards the front of the brow, I will just put very minimal product and do very soft kind of brush-like strokes, just so that I can have a very soft kind of ombre effect. So I'm not entirely crazy about this brow pencil. I feel like it comes off a little bit heavy. Like I feel like my brow looks a little heavy and it's kind of hard to blend out. So my brows look kind of crazy right now. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to use one of my new favorite eyeshadow primers. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm obsessed with this. I've been keeping this in my everyday acrylic drawer on my vanity. That's how much I love it. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Again, loving this so much. It has a really nice matte finish. It isn't exactly as pigmented as I would like. Like, it doesn't cover as much um, as my MAC Soft Ochre, but it's so nice. Like, it just grabs onto your eyeshadows, makes them last all day. So I'm going to take the same Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, take that yellow shade, and really set and also brighten the eyelid. This is also going to set the shadows, or sorry, the primer, so that these shadows can really glide on super smooth on top and they don't stick. But first, for a transition shade, I'm actually going to take a Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadow, Bella Cafe. So we're just going to take a fluffy brush and kind of pop that right into the transition area. I do like these shadows. They blend really nicely. Um, they aren't the most pigmented, so you do kind of have to build up. The shadow a little bit but once you build it up they do blend really nicely on the eyes so we're gonna move right on to the lid color I'm gonna take this Bohemian Rhapsody palette and take this shade right here I might mix it in with a little bit of this but I'm gonna take this nice bronzy shade here I did just wet my brush and now we're going to apply it and see how this works okay so you actually get very little color payoff from this palette so 
I wasn't expecting that. I'm not feeling it right now. So we're actually going to switch out to some Essence eyeshadows. So these Essence eyeshadows right here actually have some great color payoff. This one is in the shade Sandy Says Hello. And this one is Peach Beach. They're both really beautiful, but Sandy Says Hello is much more of a rose gold. So I'm just going to go ahead, wet my brush again, and dabble into that shade. So actually this shade in combination with the Wet n Wild one is coming off really pretty on the eyes. But I might add a little bit of glitter. I'm going to see how this Wet n Wild glitter is. I purchased this and showed it in a haul recently. This is the shade Brass. It's kind of like a pressed glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some specks of glitter. Ooh, yeah, that looks really pretty. I'm happy with it so far. This is really pretty. I might just do a full glitter lid. Let's do that. Yes. Having this um, Essence eyeshadow, which I love these by the way, um, in the shade Sandy says hello, underneath this glitter is going to give it a nice kind of rose gold, goldy feel, which is going to be really pretty. And now what I'm also going to attempt to do is kind of extend my lid a little bit. I actually have kind of small lid space, which I really hate. So I'm going to pretend that my lid space goes up to here and kind of extend my crease and lid space area. So I actually really like this. I didn't even need a glitter glue or anything because it has a very tacky, sticky base, which is nice because it really adheres. This looks beautiful so far. So next what I'm going to do is take this brush by Sigma. It's just a really nice kind of tapered br uh, brush. This is one of my favorite for like soft cut creases. And I'm going to take this nice dark brown in this Wet n Wild palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of definition right in the crease. So I'm feeling like I need a better transition shade, so I'm just going to take the bronzer that I worked with on the skin, the NYC one, and I'm going to use that right in the crease just to help blend out these shades. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to work with the same shades that I did in the crease. I'm going to use the bronzer, the Milani shadow, and then a little bit of the darker brown right on the kind of close up to the lower lash line. So now for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna take this sugar shadow from Wet n Wild, it's like a really bright white. I do really love these shadows, they're nice and pigmented. I have the shade Creme Brulee already and the black one and I really like it. So one thing I am noticing about the Wet n Wild pressed glitter is after I have used it, if you'd notice, most of the glitter on the top is kind of gone and then you just have like that random film at the bottom which is a little bit strange so I guess that's what a lot of you guys were complaining about but I mean it does look really good on the eyes I just don't think you'd be able to get more than maybe two uses out of this but I will kind of try it a little bit more and get back to you guys on that so um, I don't think I'm going to do winged liner which I was going to use my holy grail um, liner by NYC this is their liquid liner it's really really amazing I have literally like five backups of these um, but I'm not going to do a wing. I am just going to lightly line the lid just so that when I put on my lashes, it can kind of be concealed. So I'm just going to do a really thin line close to the lash line. And for tight lining, I'm going to use these Rimmel Waterproof Cole Kajal Pencils. I've been using these for so long now. They're really, really good. I just have the shade... Black, I think it is. Yeah, just black and nude. <laughs> and I'm just going to put the nude on the bottom and the black on the top. So now for mascara, I actually forgot to get one that was super, super affordable. Like, I was planning on buying one that was maybe a dollar or two dollars, but I totally forgot. Um, so I am just going to opt for one of my holy grails. Either way, this is still really affordable. In Canada, you can find this on a good sale. Sometimes at Walmart for like $5.99, I think. So in the U.S., you can probably find it on sale for like $3.99, $4.99 sometimes which is under $5. So keep that in mind. This is one of my favorite mascaras ever. So I am just going to go ahead and use this mascara to comb my lashes. For falsies, I am going to use the Morphe Wisp Lashes. They're so beautiful. They're actually one of my favorite lashes, and these are only $2. They're so bomb. They just give your lashes a really pretty, angelic, 
kind of wispy feel to them. Okay, so now we're moving on to the lips, which I'm really excited for. I think for today, I'm gonna go for a nice, like, kind of rich mauve pink. So I have the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob by Rimmel. Very similar to Soar by MAC. And then I have these ELF Matte Lip Colors, which are in the shade Tea Rose and Natural. I love these matte lip colors. They're really pretty. You do have to make sure your lips are well exfoliated and well moisturized before you do use them though. So first as a base, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the East End Snob Lip Liner from Rimmel. And then I'm gonna use Natural from the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. This is a really pretty kind of nude pink. I'm also mixing in a little bit of Tea Rose. So that completes this makeup look. This is a full face of makeup using products under $5. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be super fun to do something that's extremely affordable. And maybe if you guys want another makeup look using more products under $5, I can do another one of these. So like thumbs up for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will of course see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.